What is up, everybody? We are back with another episode of Triple KO. And today is an interesting topic because we're still talking about fighting games, of course, but we're going <laughs> to talk about some of our most hated or worst fighting game characters of all time. And we are joined by myself, Mr. Matt McMuscles, and also Maximilian Dude. How are you guys doing today? Um, I believe before we say how we're doing, we need to preface this episode by if you love certain characters in the world of fighting games, that's super cool. That's super okay. Everyone loves their 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 fighting game and video game characters, but it's just video games at the end of the day. I'm doing good, Justin. How are you? <laughs> And I'd, I'd like to also preface that uh, today is a very special day. We're going to bust some heads and we're going to make you feel bad for liking the things you like. <laughs> yeah, it's it's also possible that we might even debate on uh, against each other because we possible. might say characters that, you, you know, we may like, but we may also hate at the same time. Right. It's uh, on that note. Why don't, why don't you start us off, Justin, with with a character uh, from any franchise that you like? Uh, Max made a suggestion. Maybe we should all. If you start off with like a Street Fighter character, let's say, or a Tekken, let's just stay on that franchise until we've exhausted our yeah. our, our dislikes and then we can move on to something else. Because I think it's better to organize it that way. Because sometimes you forget. We could we could start at like the very beginning, the dawn of time, like Street Fighter 2, <laughs> where like all the archetypes were essentially crafted and and sort of like, well, we have to figure out. Do we hate the character? Like, there needs to be some stipulations. Do we hate the character yeah. themselves? Do we hate fighting against the character? Do we hate using the character? Or do we just hate to hate? <laughs> like, what is it? For, for me, it's like the character, their design and their attitude. Gameplay mechanics and archetypes, I I don't have a overall dislike or okay. like of anything, a zone or a rushdown or or a grappler or anything i don't really so that's where that's where i'm coming from i don't know if that varies for you too so it definitely does vary for me because there okay. there have absolutely been games where characters are uh the way they are and it makes me absolutely despise them from this point forward i just can't if they're in anything i just can't like that piece of shit was so good in that game i'm so okay. i'm never gonna yep. like them I, I think I'm on the same wavelength as Max with okay. based off childhood trauma and also tournament experience trauma. Uh, there are certain characters that I just get tilted and oh, I always want them to be the worst character in the game. Type yes. Of thing. Okay. Okay. So uh, what what is what is uh, like piping hot at the forefront of your mind right now, Justin? Uh, piping hot. I mean, everybody knows that I have a thing with grapplers. Um, and this I didn't notice that. Yeah, this character gives me grief. He gives me a lot of grief. And his name is Zangief. I hate uh. Zangief. Uh, in most of the games that he's always in just because of like i think his design is cool you know he's cool wrestler you gotta have a wrestler type of character in fighting games uh but just i just don't know i feel like somebody at capcom is just a huge fan of this character and just wants to make him busted right because i personally think the way grappler archetype should work is like you're supposed to work your way to get in like if you get in you get rewarded but then lately there's, there's just this thing with this evolution of let's make grapplers just have the best fundamentals let's piss off justin you know ways to get through fireballs they don't have to work as hard anymore so yeah i would say zangief is the one that that character that just really pisses me off i got a little i wouldn't say pissed but i was like when he came back in five i'm like he lost green hand i i'm getting kind of tired of him and the design his default design was the same and his like level three is is lame and i was just kind of like zangief needs a refresh that's other than that i'm i'm fine with them is that a is that a controversial topic for you max how do you feel about uh the geefster no i completely agree with you i think like there's the world warriors have needed a refresh for quite some time um and there was some that got through uh, uh like got through the gates in street fighter 5 like D dalsam changed a bit mm -hmm. uh which was kind of cool but yeah zangief like was one of the most like unchanged next to like even ryu so yeah. I don't know. I think Street Fighter Six is going to be a very telling game. Um, you know, if he shows up, if and uh, <laughs> the 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 chance for them to actually go through some like big overhaul with him should be fun. Justin, I have a question for you. Yeah, does that element of Zangief also apply to the Versus series? Because he is traditionally pretty bad in the Versus series. He's like in the wrong game. Mm. So I feel like Versus series. Um, 
like Marvel 2, he's he's obviously known as like just an assist, right? Just Lariat, turn Mega Zangief, and boom, that's it. But I feel like in the Versus series, like a lot of the Capcom Shoto care, like Street Fighter characters, they just never shined. They're all in the wrong uh, game. Yeah. Right, they're in the wrong game. But Zangief did have some sauce in like Marvel 1 and x Men Street Fighter. Uh, he had like this Lariat infant and stuff like that. But in terms of like what made me hate Zangief is usually kind of like the way he's able to just easily move around. Uh, like Street Fighter 4. Street Fighter 4 is like the perfect example of like, yeah. bro, I don't, I don't know what they did with Zangief. They made EX Green Hand like the most broken move uh, where now everyone's like, yo, he needs, he needs the Green Hand in Street Fighter 5. But yeah, like him able to play how he played in Street Fighter 4 kind of like made me result in like, oh, I hate this character so much. I think I remember mm. when Vanilla SF4 was in arcades that Geef at a very early age in that game could do like three crouching jabs and yep. the, the push block, like the, the push back would still put him yep. in range of light SPD. It was like, mother of God, dude, what? This is disgusting. <laughs> Yep, uh, and and also the the ex hand during vanilla days, it it knocked down. So when you hit somebody with it, you get the guaranteed cross up splash into the same mix up over and over again. It just seemed like overall like a grappler infinite at that point. Sure, and yeah, I just didn't like it. Um, also playing him and playing against him even in like Super Street Fighter Two, like uh just like the yeah. SF Two series, like he was so hard to beat against like uh, like a high level Zangief user. And the worst part is the AI, the AI AI Zangief is actually one of the most impossible characters to beat because like there was no good strategy. He was able to jump on frame one anytime you threw a fireball. His SPD ranges were like a way farther compared to a human person using <laughs> an, an SPD. And the damage is also increased where like if you did a light SPD and you had 40%, it'll take 40% of your life. So yeah, from childhood trauma to tournament trauma, he, he hit me hard. So it's not just Zangief though. For you, it is an overall grappler archetype. So even if you get down to like the Potemkins and stuff like that, is that do you feel the same way? No, or is it actually, just Zangief? Yeah, I think it's just actually Zangief because, <laughs> pers because personally, uh, like I, I like Hugo. I think Hugo's a sick character. Yeah. Uh, just just from like the Street Fighter Three series, and when he came back in Street Fighter Four, like his personality was so cool in Street Fighter Four. Yeah, as he's well, a great too. looking character. Right. So, yes. Even if he wasn't from Final Fight, let's just say he's bre uh, like fresh, brand new character just for Street Fighter Three. I still would have like vastly preferred him just because i think his his moveset and his grapples are more unique yeah and are. there's like crazier different setups with like air throws and stuff um i i for street fighter characters two all the way to four i don't have a character i hate really uh no uh, uh like some of them initially maybe like um like i don't not know even 12. blanca yeah i know blanca is no. a good one <laughs> okay it, not not i couldn't say hey you know it's like there's some characters i'm like and eh, they're fine you know whatever but for for me i'm like i know i need to uh, the characters i'm just like i want deleted i don't care if you rebooted the character like just gone so it's all the way up to four does anyone want to take a guess what street fighter four character i'm like no it's definitely gonna be rufus right it's definitely gonna be rufus what like, no, yeah. 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 yeah he never <laughs> actually happened no, no, it never happened. So, Justin, to to give you some context, there's there's two reasons for this. One, because he used to be King Cobra, the coolest looking unreleased Street Fighter character of all time. Um, they they changed his design. They said, let's go in a different direction. And that cool black martial artist like that looks so awesome. Just turn into Rufus somehow. And it's not because Rufus looks ridiculous. That's that's part of it. The part of it is because Bob in Tekken looks ridiculous too, but it's Rufus's combination of his look and his attitude. Yeah. Where I'm annoying. I, I I'm American. I'm American. Yeah. I'm super loud, blah, blah, blah. Um, but in conjunction with his design, it makes for this toxic combo that I just can't anymore. Um, uh, move wise. Cool. It's just, everything is so bad everywhere else. But, and, but if his attitude was in another design, like, oh, Kin Masters, I, I'm, I'm better than you, a wise guy. Like, that would have been fun and unique somewhere else, but it's like all these things together, just no to Rufus. I don't want to see him in endings and stuff. I'll accept that, but never again. You know, the, what's crazy about Rufus is that, like, 
they they kind of took it from like the american stereotype where it's like american guy who likes martial artists and wants to be a kung fu master type of mm-hmm. type of thing it's like i don't know if you've seen like cobra kai or like anything yeah. like that but you know that that one big dude um that was like super like into cobra kai uh but yeah, he was like just, the security guard yeah he yeah, yeah. him <laughs> and he he reminded me of rufus like li- like literally because he was just loud american and just kind of mashed on words and try it wants to be a martial artist he wants to be part of cobra kai so it just seems like that's kind of like the stereotype that they went with with with, with creating rufus and that's a really hard thing to get across in just a fighting game. You know what I mean? Like yeah. in a narrative show, you can get him like all these little jokes or, or whatever. He shows up, does a little thing here. But when he's like a core, like a, a fighting game character is like a core element of the game. There's no, there's no way around it. You're going to meet him, see him, like fight him, whatever. So he's always there. And it's always too much. And um, I very, I don't have much to say about the, the next character, but it's the only other Street Fighter character. I'm like, just Fong is never oh. never fong ever again fang <laughs> just say just say fang. fang so we know what you're talking about like uh, don't, okay, don't, give him, don't pronounce his name in the actual way, the actual way? don't okay. give him that respect i i was looking for footage of him and the top video is max max is a very positive uh person in in real life and online he can't do it during this trailer he cannot be positive in his reaction <laughs> he's just like why is his face so and then you just spend time looking at the background because you don't want to comment on the character because this is the first time we see the the shadowloo background with all the the faces and you're like oh that's balrog's face back there that's cool this might come as a shock to many people but there's uh, a lot of reaction videos i make where there is very tepid reactions of like i don't know man (laughs) like this is not i don't know man (laughs) <laughs> and and ju- the voice obviously a big factor and i don't care for poison status as a video game thing yeah i don't find that fun i it's it's fine i get its purpose it always it totally sucks. makes sense it, it just always sucks to play for it to play as if i was to select him or to fight against for me it's just never an element or a video game thing i i personally enjoy so that's my street fighters that's Damn. that's the definitive list of just no just stop but, with these two but but how about a double dose of poison though you know no what not you, about no, it no no just <laughs> the only poison i like is just poison from final fight that's the poison i want yeah i'm thinking like going back to like world warriors um who in the world warriors if not the the original like four kings would I potentially like just erase from existence. And there is one character I think in, in street fighter that uh, I think we would, there would be a happier world. It would be a, wow. it would be a safer world. Like we could, we could protect this for our children going forward <laughs> and we could, we could make, Uh-oh. we could make we fight this, for the uh, future. We could Uh-oh. fight for the future and make this a better place. I wonder <laughs> if Justin knows what I'm talking about. If we had a world where Dalsum didn't exist, where Dalsum prevented you from having fun. The character that just eliminates fun from everybody. As a kid, I liked Dalsum. Just don't let Arturo listen to this podcast. <laughs> let's let's just get Dalsum removed from Street Fighter and uh, the, all six players that play him will be very upset. But the world would be a much happier place. <laughs> I, even as a kid, I didn't mind fighting Dalsum because I played a lot of Street Fighter 2 on the PC, on the IBM version. And it played really slow, and I liked it because when you could take Dalsum, you could wreck because the slowdown on my PC was so insane back then. Like, the characters (laughs) couldn't do anything against them because the limbs would just stay out. It was just like a weird timing issue, but I I never had a problem fighting or, or playing against him but i but i understand though i understand that yeah he wants to protect the children you have to i don't know this is this is a <laughs> this is a character that'll just make i and i think like that's the whole point of street fighter 2 is that most of the character archetypes outside of ken and ryu which are the two character archetypes they're designed to like frustrate that is guile's game plan as well it's just designed yep. to frustrate you so I don't know. It is I, I I have accepted it, but I feel like if I could go back like and get the sports almanac and you know <laughs> well, rewrite the back time to the future a little thing. bit, it would be to just make sure that Dalsum just didn't get stuck into the game. 
You know, um, I, 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 I can understand that for sure. But nobody else, like nobody else from Street Fighter 2 OG, I think Blanca has his place. I played Blanca when I was a wee lad. And yeah. I uh, I don't have any issue with uh, Balrog or Sagat or Bison. Um, I was considering getting rid of Vega. I was a little bit. But he looks cool. Like, so he looks too the, cool. He looks cool. He's the biggest piece of shit in the world when you actually play him or fight somebody that's good with him. Like, this is a piece of shit character for a piece of shit people. I'm really going to make prince. everybody mad here. Um, <laughs> but, I mean, that's the, that's the prince, though. But it is. Yeah, he does have, like, his own his own spot. Um, but, yeah, you look at the Street Fighter 4 roster, right, which starts to expand on things quite a bit. Uh Man, I definitely agree with you on Rufus, right? That's I, I, I'll 100% with you there. Um, but there's another character that's actually from OG Street Fighter that went into Alpha, that went into 4, that if I could get rid of him, I definitely would. If I had, like, a magic eraser, I would erase Adon from existence. And his Joker-like mannerisms and his... I, I think we already have, like, a really cool... I think they're both Muay Thai fighters, where we yeah. have, like, Sagat, and he's way better. Yeah. But he has a move called Jaguar Revolver, and that's too cool of a name <laughs> to get Revolver. rid of. Get rid of him, nah. And, and, and whenever he says it, it, it's a piercing sound that enters your brain Jagu. and does damage. Jagu. Da, 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 da. Like, it's, like, it's, it sounds oh, like a, it sounds like a hyena saber tooth type of combination. Yeah, yeah. I I get what you're saying, especially since there's already a, a Mutai like emperor. And why why have another one that's like maybe not as cool? Yeah. I do like the play of like one associates with tigers, one is a huge jaguar stand, but I I do understand that as well, but I don't agree with it. Um so moving moving around a bit, because there's a there's so many games in the in the Street Fighter series. And this one comes from a pure gameplay contempt. Uh, absolutely has uh, as as dominated my mental scape, and I can't erase the feelings I have, almost regardless of any game that she is in, because of what she did to this game. And uh, if I can get rid of Chun Li in Third Strike, I'd do it. I'd straight do it. <sighs> no. Just get rid of her. Oh my God, no! You can't do that. I would do Justin went one no, all of CEO with with, 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 with Kiko. Uh, I watched so many so many of like the best <laughs> tournaments in the world in the mid two thousands, <laughs> waiting for top eight. Super excited to see like Daigo versus Alex Valle or something, and I get Chun versus Chun versus Chun versus Chun versus Yoon versus Yuriad versus Chun, and I'm like, I hate this fucking character. Okay. Jesus all right, man. All right, all right, all right. All right. I, I, if we get rid of Chun, <laughs> can we get rid of Yun as well? Because I hate Yun in Third Strike. Like it's like, come on, man! Like Genai Jin, every like five seconds. I don't want him to turn him. I don't want him to turn Superman every five seconds. I agree with Justin. I, if I could take rid of, uh, like only get rid of one of them, it would be Yun because like you, when Third Strike was like coming out and and people started busting that, I had no idea what it was and how to counter it. I was like, no, I I can't stand this. But like Yun's still a cool character. I wouldn't get rid of him just based on that but yeah i think i think the only reason i would say is okay with yun is that he's at least at least when you watch it there's a lot of variance to how you activate when you activate what your combo is from mid-screen what your corner combo is are you doing the hard one are you doing the really hard one and you can like see that from player to player like damn like this guy's got kara palms damn this guy's got some crazy mid-screen like short short confirms this is cool I, so I like I have like a little bit of appreciation for him. Well, Chun yeah. Chun is just the greatest footsie character of all time. <laughs> like she is just going to whittle you away piece by piece until she gets her fat ass super and you're fucking dead. You like, know, you just, just, but you her just crouching learn, animation you, though. You, you, yeah, you, just she's look, you just have to learn how to pet, you just have to learn how to how to do the Daigo parrot and that's it. Beat Chun Li is defeated. She is one of the best looking sprites ever made, right? And I think she's better looking than Chun Li has ever looked in Street Fighter Three mm. Third Strike. There's there's absolutely accommodations here. All I'm saying is that from a pure gameplay level of somebody that actually okay. tried to take this game seriously, this is the one that poisoned the well for me for Chun Li going forward. And it was like, oh man, like in the same way that some some characters in previous games were too OP, like like Wolverine or something like that for so many Marvel games, might have really soured people on Wolverine. That happened to me with Chun Li in this game. Okay, because I played so, Chun in MVC one before before Third Strike. Yeah. So okay. So because you know you're 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 hating Chun Li so much in Third <laughs> Strike. Uh, would you say she's like the most hated for you, or like would there be another character? Because the only character I could think of that could rival Chun Li is Ultra Street Fighter Four Elena. 
Yeah, we've we've mentioned this once or twice yeah, before. Yeah, uh, yeah. I mean, the problem is Elena only had so much time in the sun. That chick got yeah. like four months, dude. Of you yeah, having, to, yeah, yeah, of people much. having to deal with it. We've been dealing with Chun Li for like eighty years. <laughs> like, <laughs> but, if, but if there was one year or more of Ultra Street Fighter Four before Street Fighter Five came out, it would have been like it, well, top it was, sixteen Elena City. Yeah, it was already the the well was clearly poisoned at the end of Ultra Street Fighter Four. You know, so I mean, I think I think there is that, but we just haven't we it wasn't in our headscape long enough to establish like you know how do we fight against it right it was just like oh this is really good so this just just have to deal with it right and and usually in, in old school fighting games like things are either really good and they stay really good or you find like a strategy against it like you get some weird anti-phoenix tech you know yeah. so i i don't even know if that happened long enough for ultra street, ultra street fighter 4 wasn't even around for that long that really gave it the time to like shine um, but I feel like because because everyone knew how to play Street Fighter Four and everyone played it that we kind of figured it out pretty fast. Yeah, it was it was to the point where uh, just the fact that the just it's just healing, right? All you had to do was remove healing and then yeah. it would have been fine. Would have been pretty much fine. But, yeah, it needed like one more patch. Yeah, but the fact that she's had technically had the most health in the game uh, with that with that ultra was kind of just obnoxious. Yeah. Um, because and when you watched. Uh, I would say I think Evo winners finals like that set with like Momochi and infiltration of like Elena versus Chung Lee. I think it was like like an hour long because the <laughs> amount of the amount of healings were just insane that was happening. Healing. Yeah. Yeah, it's when it's when certain characters like bring the game to an absolute crawl, you know? It's like what eventually happened to CVS2 where you're just going to get like outpoked by Vega and you're just going to lose, you know, death by a thousand paper cut type of situation or you're going to lose to Blanca doing roll cancel electricity and you're just going to be here forever because you're, you're everyone's going to defense but you're just going to lose little chunks of life over and over and over. So the CVS2 finals take 8 hours <laughs> like man, you know, so far already that we're doing this episode, I am already hurt from both of you guys. <laughs> Matt Sorry. says Rufus, Max says Chung Lee. I'm like those are two of my main characters right this that mean i just play hated characters at this point like what's the next characters that you guys are going to mention <laughs> um i i got one more for street fighter and it's it's a street fighter 5 character and don't uh, say karen do not say it's not karen, karen. no it's not okay, karen thank you uh karen is too much of a just a mid character uh okay. it's, it matt's matt might be mad at me um mm. and it's a vroom vroom boy Oh, Abigail. Yeah. Um. No, I, I. He got a lot of hate just just based on his design when he was like initially like shown, and then like gameplay wise, also had his his own issues. And I totally get it. And like the vroom vroom is it was really hard for a lot of people to get over. <laughs> and also his model, like why does he look gross? Yeah. Like he's so big, he look, looks yeah. like a Bobo from the uh, Double Dragon movie, where he gets all powered up and gets like all puffy and gross yeah um i i did have a problem with abigail to a point um especially when you look at final fight his model is just on door like it's just hugo like it's size like why did they go so extra with him but eventually i kind of was like oh well you know the, the the he came down in like potency gameplay wise after a little while so i didn't mind him too much but that that is a character i'm not angry at you for for not liking i feel like they lost a huge story opportunity with uh with him when he's like in if you watch this story mode where every time he walks through a door his shoulders just clip the side of the door and just leave this mm. like this this outline of what he walks through yeah. i i just he's so comically large and i don't feel like his body scales right like they just no. they just like 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 this increased the percentage 150 <laughs> percent and had no other consideration unlike hugo which feels like a large dude but is proportionally in the same scape as the other characters and there are all those mods or like uh, artwork where people were like let me just tuck some things in let me just like clo uh, like bring down his shoulders and yeah, his whip and it works and out that. Yeah. And, and and it looked it looked fine, but you know, like the with with the age of Street Fighter games uh, being on PC, like there's there's mods for everything, obviously. Yeah, I, I I guess I'm not sure what they like. They had no model, right? Because at least with Hugo, they had they like kind of focus on like the Andre the Giant type of model. Yeah, it's but true. Like, well, but with Abigail, it was, it was just kind of like, yeah, I we don't know what we're doing, but we just need to make a random character from final fight to come in and just like bust some heads and you know even though his his uh he's just gross looking he was actually 
pretty darn broken uh, yeah. for the first season when he was out, like because everyone hated fighting this character. He was like that one character that just defied all odds from a grappler perspective, just because his V trigger alone had just had armor and everything. So anything you were trying to do, you just get smacked up. Because he's a bit mm-hmm. more of a. He, I've never actually played him. Right, he came out and I was just like, I'm good. Uh, but he's like a juggernaut, right? He's sort of he's sort of he's, like he's, he's like a, a juggernaut, juggernaut yeah. archetype, right? His outfit's so tight. Yeah, he has a juggernaut. He has a lot of armor on his moves, uh, yeah. his special moves and everything. And pretty much, uh, yeah, if he hits you with like an EX command grab, you actually lose more health compared to you just taking the hit. I see. <laughs> I see. Okay. Yeah, he's like, well, he's like X-Men Street Fighter juggernaut. Yeah. Don't get, don't get hit. Don't get hit. Is there any more Street Fighter characters for you, uh, Justin, or is that a Jazangi? Um, So I would say this one character I actually don't like um, a lot when he's actually a solid character. Um and which is kind of crazy because he has like this kind of sporadic uh, uh, move set. Blanca in, in general from like Street Fighter 4 or like Street Fighter 2, I'm fine with that. Street Fighter 5, I'm completely fine with that because he's supposed to be wild and crazy. But mm. when they made him in CVS 2, where they made him the most solid wow. character out of every character. Like he was so solid, so footsy based, so fundamentally solid that he was just he became just like super broken. That's a good um, one. And it, it, and it made no sense, especially with the roll cancel glitch, uh, where you, he just does roll cancel electricity and you just take literally five points of chip damage and he's pl- and he's able to attack afterwards. You couldn't jump in. You will never win the footsie war of him. So they just kind of took away his his personality archetype from like Street Fighter Two or like even from like Alpha Three and then. Yeah. Justin made me just realize why I had such animosity towards Blanca. And yeah, it's because of CVS2. <laughs> I, I won a tournament using Blanca and CVS2, and I had no idea what I was doing. And you hated it. But I, I won <laughs> I, I won just based on the fact that his jump speed was crazy. His jumping yep. HK was like unhittable. And I just pestered people, like ran away and just knew that, you know, three kicks go rare, rare, rare. <laughs> and I'm like, I think I could just win this way. And so I literally moved off the characters that I love to win the tournament, and it felt disgusting. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You already had the car running, so you could like dash into the car after the tournament's yeah. done. Yeah, so nobody, you don't get beat no, up in real life. Nobody can know my name. I have to I have to just like <laughs> mystically vanish away. That's that Blanca kid. Blanc- Blanca's, yeah, like 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 uh, somebody somebody starts hover over hovering over like Blanca in CVS2. It's immediately like you piece of shit. <laughs> like, don't you do yeah, it. You piece yeah, of yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Come to think of it, the only other character I can think of where it's like I just got sick of seeing them is like at a certain point in Street Fighter 4 whenever I'd look at any tournament like online just guile mirrors. Yeah. I I got real sick of guile mirrors where I was like it's not guile's fault, I mean it is, but like every time I saw I was like oh my god, I'm so sick of guile. If guile doesn't come back it, like in in a next Street Fighter like it won't be soon enough but then like you know street fighter 6 guile looks hype as shit so i don't mind anymore yeah they're changing guile a lot like he's they changed him a lot in five it was very necessary yeah Uh, he he was a combo character pretty much so he he had a lot of cool flashy combos um you know they they changed a lot of things compared to where street fighter 4 guy was more traditional guile you know where i really like that you know where guile's really cool nbc2 Mm. guile's badass in that game because he has an air flash kick. Yeah, <laughs> I mean that, that that is pretty cool though. Plus, it helps that I love Guile's alpha and therefore CVS sprite a lot. Like yeah. it just it just looks good, you know. Like a lot of the redrawn alpha, like for the extra characters that was in that were in Alpha Three, uh, a lot of them like look like I love DJ's sprite in Alpha. Yeah, and T Hawks yeah. is is cool too. So and Phalongs too, especially. This is the sprites uh, that you usually don't see anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly, because yeah. they're they're not in any re released versions. It's just that game. Yeah. Uh, do we want to move on to another franchise? You think? Yeah, or? I think so. Yeah. I think I think we've uh, the, we, that's the longest running, uh, or at least the oldest running franchise, and the second oldest running franchise is either going to be either Mortal Kombat or Tekken, or maybe King of Fighters. Which one should we move to next? <sighs> Let's. Let, I the, I got more to complain about for King of Fighter. Well, I, okay, okay. For King of Fighters, it's more like SNK in general because I have a few Fatal Fury characters, and I just might as well lump them in together with with SNK sure. stuff in general. Um, so the the okay, <sighs> okay. So <laughs> this one might, we might be here for a whole podcast if it's KOF <laughs> characters. So we're just before we were recording, I was like. There are so many characters in KOF 14 oh, that I'm good. Like so glad. I'm glad we're going here. Okay. That I'm so glad are like we're 
have no signs of life into 15 at all. So I honestly forgot his name for longest time, but weird, crazy, bald criminal guy. <laughs> what, what's his name? Does anyone know his name? Uh, uh, oh, <laughs> God. I just, I just did a rate the super. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. I feel I'll like his name to- is... Yeah, I don't know his name. I, I'm, 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 there's no way you'll I'm know. I'm looking up what it's one of 58 characters in this game, by the way. So <laughs> yeah. give so me this a was, second. This oh, took me a while. That's right. I, I, this okay, this I, took I, me now a while to name. find it too because I just put like I just googled weird, stupid, criminal bald guy from KOF 14. <laughs> like, what team was he on? Was he Team Criminal? I even forget the team name. So it's, it's called the the villains team. The villains team. Okay, because I thought that was like the <sighs> Nightmare Geese team or whatever. But uh, yeah, it doesn't even feel it's, like this uh, is the right name. Go ahead. It's yeah. Xanadu. <laughs> Xanadu. Xanadu. Yeah. I, I you just sometimes you'll see a character instantly, like I said before, um uh uh Fang Fang, whatever. Yeah, Fang. And uh and uh the other guy I shit on. You'll just see a character and like that's not a character for me. That's that's fine. And you move on with your fucking life. Yes. You're just yeah. like, I'm moving on. So for for Max said the same thing about uh Fang and all like this like I don't think I ever picked him once. It's just this character is for someone. I don't know who it is, but they're out there and God bless you. Not for me. Uh the other one also from KOF 14 is Sylvie Paula yep. Paula. Yeah. Uh, yeah, she 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 needs to go. And people can come at me all day and say no you see she's modeled after like a pop i, I don't care i don't care, I don't care <laughs> I don't what care. she's from it's a hideous design and i understand again there's people that like this character but again i don't think i ever picked her it's just too garish it's too like distracting even for a fighting game like there's you know characters in certain costumes that have been like kind of soft band like oh that that you actually get some type of visual advantage because your character is obscured by all this crap around them but this character is built on that premise so just uh, yeah. just no she's never coming back there's if <laughs> if snk brings her back in anything i i don't i will eat my hat i will eat my hat if she ever comes back she might she she probably probably is a playable character in king of fires all-star <laughs> if you anything so i think she definitely is actually <laughs> Yeah, really yeah, I think is. she is. I think I think okay. she is. Well, that doesn't count because I meant like KOF like sixteen. Yeah. But but she <laughs> but she, but she does remind me of a character that I'm just like I don't know what like if you if I looked at this game and before it came out I'd be like oh they got a Blaze Blue uh, collaboration because she she reminds me of Platinum uh, yeah. from 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 Blaze mm-hmm. Blue. Yeah, I can see that. Um, that that's that's kind of it for fourteen. There's some other characters in fourteen where I'm just like eh. I don't really care for the boss verse. Like the original verse design is just kind of, I don't know. This doesn't do anything for me. It's a little, um, it's, it's, it's kind of is, um, yeah. in, in general, I've talked about this before. This is a, this is a, I've talked about this a lot. Um, Ash Crimson is one of my least, fi- least favorite fighting game characters generally of all time. And again, it's a combination of factors. It's, I don't mind Ash's design too much. It's, solid and fits in with most kof aesthetics fighting ash i always hated i just whenever i fought someone that played as him or even the cpu it just especially in like kof 11 just it seemed like they always had huge priority on everything the flip kick and then you have like the the really really cocky attitude where i'm so superior to everybody else then you have the combination of because of the holding pattern SNK was in from the late 90s to 2010, it seemed like Ash was the main storyline thing for like 30 years yeah. Yeah. in my head. It was always about the Ash Crimson storylines. Here's Ash. Here's Ash. It's about Ash again, throwing Ash in there. And when when 13 said Ash is now deleted from the timeline, like I with tears of joy rolled down my face. Like, We're finally came back. moving on. <laughs> he came back, but he wasn't the central focus of the 15 storyline. So I I didn't mind that much, but it just seemed like we had this like Hulk Hogan era of of ash where no one else was allowed to get over no one could be better more important than ash yeah so so for a variety of reasons ash is is like one of among my least favorite fighting in characters of all time and and most of that is due to because he was so overexposed in snk stuff for a long time 
Man, you, you you have a good one, but like the the character that I hate the most, I might get a lot of crap for, um, because he's a very popular character in King of Fire's franchise. Okay. Uh, I actually despise Iori Yagami. Really? Despise. Sakurai's weeping tears. <laughs> I despise him because growing up, every time I played on a King of Fire's machine and I fought against like people from the arcade this could be from 94 95 all the way to as many now now i feel i feel like i always fight an iori player and no matter what snk is so like like he needs to be top tier like so he Mm. had this thing where he's always good and i hated the fact that he was always such a top tier character and he just never changed so it's just kind of more of just like a personal thing just because i'm like man he always just always been good and even with king of fires 13 i was like okay he had a cool he has a cool new change and everything i love the Mm -hmm. whole claw thing and then the dlc came out and then everyone just switched to him because that is the is the original version of Iori yeah. where he's just top tier. He even had an infinite in that in that version with the Rekkas. So ultimately, yeah, I despise this character so much because just fighting against everybody in the arcades, they always just had Iori on his team and he always was just such a good character. I I can yeah, I understand where you're coming from on it where it's like, yeah, SNK really always loved this character. He's in every single game. So I kind of get like the overexposure and how many people would play as him, but his design is still too sick and he's too cool of a character. They they changed Keo like he was cool. He went from Fireball to Rekka um, and everything. Like he even he even had like cool clothing design from like two like ninety nine with like the white suit. Yeah. Like they yeah. gave a lot of things. That they they changed a lot for Keo, but I just felt like Iori is just been the same of one two three. Like it's that's like the thing that I see for like the last like. 20 years. But see, Yori was already perfect. They didn't need to change him up too much. As Sakurai said, whoever came up with this character is a genius. a genius. <laughs> no. He, he's just, I, maybe if, if they made him like where like he actually was not top tier or like top three every single King of Fighters game, I would be fine with it. So if he, they've made him shittier, you'd like him more. Yeah, because I just, yeah. I just I just want I just want more yeah. I just want more I just want more variety, you know. Yeah, he he was on I everybody's team. They go wrong, but I respect it. <laughs> uh, I, I got a couple, uh, and one one is like a, a duo. But when they take this character away from the duo and make him alone, I absolutely can't. Just please delete. Uh, it's it's Choi, and it's like when they have Chang yeah. and Choi, mm-hmm. it's cool. But mm-hmm. when it's just like Choi by himself, I'm fine with Chang by himself. But man, dude, like I absolutely hate Choi. Like I feel like that's the whole point. Is this little dynamic duo, like the tiny dude, the giant dude? Yeah. Uh, I hate him. When your character's like, oh look, he's so play on Freddy Krueger. Yeah. That's all he is. That's it. He's just... That's really all he is. He's one note. There's not much else going on there. So you're totally right. When they're together, it's like, oh, this is a cool, like, you know, little duo. But yeah. And, and Chang is fine. Like, he's not like my favorite up there. But like, I'm like, okay, this guy this guy has some stuff but yeah, yeah. I, I i totally hear that so yeah, when think, you mean like when you mean like they're together like you mean like cvs2 style where like chang uses choi as like as an assist type of thing yeah that that kind of stuff like and i i think even in uh i forget which games but in kof 14 i'm pretty sure yeah, let me actually look it up really quick yeah choi was solo in in that game i can't remember which one right. like, whenever they team them up I'm, I'm cool with it but man when he's alone Oh, like the, yeah. the character's so one note that I just really despise it. For more of a modern take on this, like, please be reminded that Farah Tor exists in MKX, <laughs> but imagine they just put Farah yeah. or Tor, because Tor's got less going going on than like Chang. Yeah. It, together as a duo, they're okay. They're, I certainly did not miss them in MK11, but it was something different from Mortal Kombat. But yeah, that, I, I almost had Choi on my, on my list as well, so... Um, and my other one for KOF that I just I can't stand this character is May Tenkun. I can't believe they brought him back. Sleepy boy, sleepy boy, <laughs> sleepy boy. <laughs> it's 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 again uh, when a when a character's gimmick is like I fall asleep. That's all that character is. I throw pillows. Yeah, I throw pillows. <laughs> like the design of save for the pillow is like fine. You know, it's kind of what I expect from this era of KOF stuff. But like, it's just so lame. Like I don't understand the appeal there i just eh. i i get it's like oh we're gonna have like 50 characters let's have something that's different over here yeah but why do you want a character that's sleepy 
Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I don't have any answers for you. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> I, uh, that's, I, mean, I think another character that I'm not a, a big fan of, um, it's actually Maxima. Yeah, he's gotten worse over the years, too, it feels. Like I feel like I feel like he's he just some for some reason he he keeps getting skinnier. I'm like he needs to stay bulky. Like that's how I think of him. Like 99, I was like okay, he looks bulky, so I like that. But now he's just super skinny. Yeah, I, I'd say Maxima has a lot of potential, but he's also he's always been a kind of a flat character for me. Like I don't I don't hate him, but I'm like the, the, he needs something else. He needs like a refresh or reboot, kind of like the Zangief sort of thing. Where I'm like do something a bit different with him because he's like I'm a weird canadian robot it's, it's i i was like what How? i don't get that you're built you're built by tim hortons like i don't understand like <laughs> <laughs> they don't even know what to do with his like with his climaxes like when when you watch yeah. him in king of fires 15 he's just doing this hype beam and then yeah. he does like this little fist bump in the air and i'm like that is the most lamest ender <laughs> in the world it, it's a hype beam but it ain't that hype you know, you know? it's like de-hyped beam yeah um I have I have like um I have some two Fatal Fury characters. These are these are pretty obscure, but it's uh the Jin brothers from the Real Bout series. Oh, Jin yeah. uh Chan Ray and uh Jin Chan Su. They're 14 year old boys that as a kid I just thought they were little people because <laughs> their proportions are so like off because they're wearing these like nice Chinese oh, like these yeah, yeah. characters. Oh, they wear these weird, ill-fitting, like, Chinese, like, uh, battle garments, and I'm just like, what is this? What's happening? And they're, for at least one game, they were the replacement for Geese Howard. Like, th that's already an unenviable position. Like, we're <laughs> the new bad guy in lieu of Geese, and they did pretty well with, with Krauser, but yeah. then they're like, here's these two 14-year-old boys, and I'm just like, how is this intimidating? Like they'll fuck you up, but I I just never liked them. I don't think they outside of the real bout series. I don't think they ever came back in any way whatsoever. Just, SNK were just like uh, they didn't even come back in Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. No, and I think they in the real bout series they eventually kind of de-emphasize them and they kind of slid geese back in there. They're like get back out there. Yeah. Um. And and he kind of took over the main villain role again, sort of, and then they threw Krauser back in there, but. Those are two characters. I was just like, why? Why are they here? Like, it's not, it's not what I want in a fighting game because you know, you, any childlike character like you, like Chris in KOF, I'm just like, eh, that, that that's already a knock against you. So if you're gonna be a kid, you better be the coolest fucking kid ever. You can't be sleepy. You can't have pillows. You can't. You know what I mean? Like. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta have some sauce. Yeah. You have to have, to have some sauce in the technical gameplay sense, but you also have to have a little bit more in the, uh, like personality design sense as well. All right, everyone, we're going to talk about a little bit of old manscaping, uh, today. Justin and I are particularly well-versed in manscaping. You know, you, uh, got, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta make sure that you're, you're well trimmed, you know what I mean? For your, for your SO, significant other, right? Yeah, because also even when you're playing fighting games, crotch discomfort can hurt your game. So you should fear <laughs> no more that the kings of crotch comfort, Manscaped, has spent two years designing the most comfortable boxer briefs out there. They're sleek, they're soft, they're comfortable and flexible uh, with the brand new Boxers 2.0 from Manscaped. We're going to take your balls to the royal ball throne uh the global leaders in below the way screaming have the lawnmower 4.0 me and justin are well versed in it for all the trimming uh, so you can wear the boxers 2.0 for the chillin uh they even trademarked the jewel pouch that's a thing that these boxers right here very sleek i've worn them once or twice um they same they, here they have the jewel pouch so you know that they're serious um i think it's time you invest in your family jewels. So let your <laughs> bulge breathe and get 20% off plus free shipping by using our code TKO at manscaped.com. Uh, Justin, what do you think about these boxers so you far? You know, I feel like I, I wear those boxers maybe like once a week, right? It's just in my rotation of like after taking a shower. And they're important because the most important part is, like you said, protecting your family jewels because eventually it's going to hit. You know, that RNG is going to hit and you're going to have a kid. So make sure you do protect <laughs> those family jewels. And for me, 
don't know about Max, but for me, um, when I'm wearing like my regular old boxers, just just not enough support for the boys like it's just i'm it's just bursting now i'm like oh, come on it's so i need overpowering yes i understand it's, completely it's a power overwhelming you could say um so for manscape with the boxers 2.0 and the jewel pouch uh, you can take care of that if that's an issue for you uh, you can get 20 percent off plus free shipping with our code tko at manscape.com that's 20 percent off plus free shipping with our code tko at manscape.com up your crotch game because once the boxers 2.0 touch your sack you'll never go back mm. <laughs> i don't like that it rhymed <laughs> <laughs> um any other snk uh, characters for you guys nothing for me that immediately screams i think if we really thought about it because their their universe of characters is so big you know yeah we're not even talking about maximum impact yet yeah like there's I, some I, bad characters in there yeah. i feel like i feel like my association with them uh, boils down to a point of how much i've seen or been around them and those games i've only ever really played in passing i don't know if there was a part of my life where i dedicated several years to maximum impact or truly hate the weird cowboy dude so <laughs> uh yeah i don't know if i have that much animosity just because they haven't been in like kof games come and they sort of went really fast like back in the day so they didn't have time to stew so the cowboy guy, right? So you know how like it depends on the game, but like some people really love Athena. Some people don't like Athena just because Sekabal and just it grates on your nerves. But in Maximum Impact, there's a rival pop star to uh, Athena. Ooh. And she's a thousand times more annoying. And that's Mignon Burt. So, so this is actually a thing. Like, do they do they do like a sing-off type of thing? No, going on? nothing that cool, unfortunately. Like, when I say rival pop star, you might think that's cool, but it's it's still kind of not. And she just has the most falcoon of falcoon designs, and she also has a twin goth lolly sister named Ninyan Bert. They're they're again super unappealing. It also doesn't help that Maximum Impact has all the English voice acting. For the special moves which comes off way way worse and i think it was set by default like you could change it in the options but when you boot up maximum impact and minion burt shows up and you're just like absolutely not i can't i can't anymore with this franchise man you know you know yeah that's crazy because because i think in the, uh, since we're talking about snk games um not just king of fighters then probably the one character that i just can't stand looking at the screen in and I would never want to play him. Um, <laughs> it's from Samurai Showdown Five. Um, it's you. Do you know? Do you know Yokai? Uh, wait, is it the big red guy? Yeah, his name yeah, is Yokai. He's so gross. I'm. I'm just like, what is going on here? Like, <laughs> like it's not. I'm like, is is this even? He looks like an Attack on Titan monster in Samurai Showdown. Right. He does. Yeah. <laughs> so back to me. I need, I need to see what this dude looks like. This type he, of big. Oh, this type of monster. This dude. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I just, I, I, I least, just can't stand him, bro. Yeah, once again, haven't been around this enough to truly boil some emotional resonance, but at least he's weird. This is a Red Earth boss, yes. unplayable yes. boss. Yes. It's, 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 he just, he's just so big, like, like he takes up so much of the screen. The fact that, like, he can't even stand straight. He has to kind of sit and kneel a, down. Yeah, he has to kneel down, and slouch while he's fighting. That's literally how, like, I guess SNK fit him in this game and actually make him playable. Uh, but he would man, be like, absolutely fine if he was like a boss in like the Sam Show RPG. Yeah. Or yeah. something like that. Or like a final boss in general. I can kind of understand that. But the fact that he's playable and it's just really awkward to control him and stuff. It and is. It, he is so gross, but I guess that's his, like, that's what they're going for. Like, let's make, because there's like Gen An, right? The little green yeah, guy. With the, yeah. But yeah. he's like, I understand he's like a choy. that. He's like a Choi in yeah, Vegas-ish. Yeah. But, but he's cool. Like, he's cooler than Choi. But like, I understand like, oh, they want weird monster yokai, like Japanese mythology in there. So they put this big red slobbering demon with a little beer belly. And they're like, yeah, there you go. He's, that's, he's that's actually gross. Look, he's got like exposed bone <laughs> arm and yeah. stuff like yeah. that. It's literally Attack on Titan monster. But like, like you already had Earthquake. Earthquake was already huge. But they're like, you know what? We need a top Earthquake. Uh, earthquake is, Earthquake's always a five for me until I remember that something that brings him up to like an eight do you know what that is uh the only thing i could th the only thing i could think of is like when when he was first playable like he 
broke the game mechanics because you couldn't actually grab him. Uh, not not so much that, but you you are right. But it's like he's a five due to his design and his gameplay. But then it's like, where is he from? He's from Texas. Like, oh. like that's so much. <laughs> wow, I didn't, I didn't know that was his. What? He's it is just yeah. from Texas. Yeah, that- yeah. And then he, he goes to Japan. He's like, I'm from Texas. He doesn't even look like he's from texas <laughs> no i know it's just okay maybe it's a mistranslation or something but like in in the american like instruction booklet for like uh samurai showdown on super nintendo at least it just says from texas usa that's, remember that's funny one of the later uh samurai showdowns like i think six has like a a u.s president as a playable character like yeah. andrew garfield or some shit andrew, yeah. and Not like, andrew garfield that's andrew, like andrew, andrew jackson uh andrew Jack- the most racist like <laughs> ugly piece of shit <laughs> he's playable for some reason finally he's finally. playable <laughs> man it, it really does say texas he's it says he is a texan who had trained under the same master as the ex-sailor galford and I was really? like, yeah, that, that's what it's saying on the SNK Cause, fandom. Because Galford's like from San Francisco or something. So I guess it's just like, you know, I'm not a samurai technically. I'm just a fat guy with like a sickle. But that's yeah. good enough. <laughs> not from Texas. That's funny. That's good. It's such a wrestler thing. But yeah, the 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 red guy from Sam Show, I also almost put that on like my list of like, man, this guy's, this guy's so <laughs> nasty. I don't I don't even want to talk about him. Really. It makes no sense. Like, 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 why would you make a character like him, bro? I just because someone out there made some deviant art of him. I'm sure. Yeah, that has deviant to, art. <laughs> that has to exist. Um, any uh, any other SNK stuff? Even like from non KOF games? Anyone? I could definitely echo the Athena part of it. I I definitely don't don't like that character. But I mean, I like her in 15, but not many others. Yeah. Yeah, I, I kind of liked her design a, a bit better, but it depends on the game. But some sometimes that uh, she's she's just a little really kind of irritating. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think right. I think a lot of people's main complaint is like the the cycle ball, like the voice thing, pretty much. Literally, that's everyone's whole complaint. But like you, I mean, because of her voice, you always gonna remember cycle ball. It's true. Like you're gonna remember her voice. I didn't forget it. <laughs> Do we want to move on to like maybe Mortal Kombat? Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, Max, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look up. Let me look up the roster because I always think like I forget MK1. If we go back to the start of of first MK, uh, and I'm like, who in Mortal Kombat One do I despise? And I really don't think there is anybody. Kano really sucked gameplay wise because yeah. like his ball was had so much startup, so much recovery. So he was, he like was terrible to play to me, but I was just like, you know, heart rip. And even like his really simple victory, like pose, you're just like, Grr! and then like, that's it. Yeah. It, it was, it was enough. I, I, I think I hated fighting Goro, like really hated fighting Goro, really hated fighting endurance matches. But aside from that, like the, the, the first game. I don't think anyone in MK1 specifically or even MK2, those are such like no. staple characters now that. Looking at these rosters, I'm like, everyone here is completely fine. Back in the day, um, a lot of people I remember really hated Unmasked Sub Zero. They're like, this ruins the character. Yeah, and I was oh, I was yeah. just looking at UMK3, and I completely ag- agree that yeah, you take the mask off Sub Zero, and it's not uh, anything I'm interested in. Uh, <laughs> and it's funny, is I don't that, like, like what he's selling. I don't like what you're <laughs> selling. They they come back later, and they actually stick him back in, right? Where you get like a different Sub Zero with the mask. Because I think every, everyone complained. Yeah, you get yeah, classic you get classic Sub Zero. Didn't need to exist, but they threw him in there because because yeah, people complain enough, and it's like. Oh, Sub Zero, like you know, Chinese ninja, and then he's just like John Turk from Chicago. Yeah, and like it's just, it's just this white dude, and you're just kind of like, uh, I like the idea of like, oh, Sub Zero is scarred and he's marked for death by by his clan, so he's got this red mark. I'm like, that, that, that that's cool, but it all comes down to MK3's weird modernization of the 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 franchise's aesthetics, which fair play to ed and john tobias and the team they're like we need a refresh here we can't keep doing yeah. just yeah. martial arts and metal <clears throat> like dragons and uh, let's like bring robots into it because that's you know that we're, we're getting to the mid 90s now i got you have one. to be a bit okay I, what I, I got one that i have a uh, deep rooted oh this piece of shit is a quan chi 
don't like it, Quan Chi, it's going from yeah. the beginning to what he ended up being in MKX. I just do not like being his giant face always staring you down in every arcade you've ever gone to. Uh, I do not He's like Quan Chi. Yeah. Yeah, please, everyone, please follow the Twitter account daily pics of Quan Chi from the MK4 <laughs> cabinet. <laughs> That was that was a thing. Like he was always like you're sitting here playing like Marvel Two, and then you look over, and you just <laughs> <laughs> got this goofy I, face. I I definitely agree that in MK4 and like in a lot of Mortal Kombat projects at the time, they were pushing him so hard as like you know here's here's the new Shang Tsung, you know, yeah. and it's really hard to follow up on Shang Tsung, obviously. Yeah, and I think there was a point where I was like, eh, I don't I don't particularly care for this character, even in the 3d mks i was just like oh he's, he's still around his design is getting a bit better but it really took until mkx and like being really creative with his moveset yeah he's actually having, cool gameplay wise in that game yeah but yeah, yeah I, I i can kind of for me it's it's suhao by a country mile and Max is kind of nodding, but he doesn't remember which character i mean i i, I, <laughs> I definitely don't know the was, character uh <laughs> You look him is up, it who dude. I think it is H H S U H A O. I know, I know yeah. the name. Oh, this fucker! <laughs> uh, so. yeah, the the guy that looks like a weird man baby, and he also fights <laughs> like a baby. I remember this guy. You know, he he looks like he yeah. looks like. I don't know. He looks like Bison and like... Dude, no, you should see him actually move, right? When, he, when he's in combat, he fights like he's a big baby for some reason. <laughs> yeah, he looks, he looks um, pretty bad. That's a bad design for sure. It, it's a bad design. It's like he's just a Red Dragon member because the, that's the big new faction they're pushing in the 3D game. So it's like, oh, there's the Black Dragon. Here's the Red Dragon. So he's just a member of the Red Dragon and the reason why you're saying he fights like a baby Max is because they gave him, I believe they gave him the sumo wrestling style. And it, it would just, he was kind of like, just had his arms out awkwardly yes. and he had little yeah. shoves and pushes because sumo is hard to get right. You know, like uh, uh, unless you're Tekken or virtual fighter, it's hard to, uh, to make it look cool in a fighting game pretext. So yeah, Su Hao was in one game, one and done. Well, he came back in Armageddon, but that doesn't count everyone. Everyone is here. Armageddon. Um, and then in the Mortal Kombat comics, they kill him in like issue two. He shows up for one page. I think Scorpion rips his head off or something. And I think he's referenced once or twice. But I, I think like on various websites and stuff, Shu Hao has been rated very frequently as the worst Mortal Kombat character of all time. Uh just so unmemorable that he's memorable. He's up there with like havoc. <laughs> I, I talk a little bit shit about Havoc, like when we're talking about uh, more the Mortal Kombat episode that we did, Max, that uh, uh, Ketchup uh, yeah. came in on. And everyone's like, Havoc's got some stuff just because he's like, oh, he's from a chaos realm, so he's all crazy. Yeah. I'm like, yeah, yeah I, I get that. So he's got stuff. Then there's like Dairu and Darius and Kira yeah. and all these other characters that it's like, I'm still amazed they brought back uh, Scarlet for mk11 and stuff because i got one uh, uh zombie Liu kang now he's kind of cool though i kind of like cool. that he's cool yeah, yeah you know like uh, he was kind of cool I, I like him okay he's cooler in concept than he is yeah, yeah, actually yeah, yeah. in practice like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like his his art with the chains kind of like dangling and, is it, and, sick. His, and his neck is like cracked like yeah, that's kind of it's kind of but you you are i i think <laughs> I, th I think it's really hard to pull off like cheesy, like it's the zombie Liu Kang, and but but I still think it's cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's cool. Like, uh... Uh, I got a question. Okay, so I got I got another one for you guys. Uh, uh, how how do y'all feel about Bo Raicho? Um, uh, hated him at first. He's disgusting for for a, a while, but as the Mortal Kombat games went on, the 3D ones, they were kind of like. They were kind of treating Bo Raicho like a joke, and they were kind of like leaning into it a bit more. And he kept sticking around. He was like the tutorial <laughs> guy. Uh, yeah, he's a tutorial guy. He was one of the playable characters in in the the Mario Kart Mortal Kombat uh, Mo Motor Combat. And then when they brought him back in MKX, I was like, okay, I I think there's room for a character that's a bit silly and is like you know like the 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 drunken funny master from martial arts films i could kind of get that but i i think his introduction was rough 
if he was first introduced in MKX for the first time, I think people would would remember him a bit better. But they think of like the farting. Yeah, the farting. Yep. <laughs> Dude, I'm going back and I'm looking at Deadly Alliance roster just to like remind myself. I forgot Draman existed. Don't t- don't tread carefully, my friend. <laughs> what Was that, did I did I just did I fall into the Draman defense horse? <laughs> <laughs> Draman defense horse. Yeah, yeah, it's only member is me. Uh, <laughs> Draman had a really really cool backstory, and I was absorbing every single bit of Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance information that was like being uh, drip fed. As, yep. as as fighting game promotions are wont to do. And his backstory is like he was this cool, sexy, like Ken Masters dude, and like he was untouchable. And then he got sent to hell and a bunch of flies ate all his flesh and found a cursed mask and put it on. I was like, ah, oh, this is all good stuff. But uh, when you play as him, he's terrible. He's he's super lame. Like he just has a clubbing hand and he just clubs you and he has flies, but he throws the flies at you. Like that's kind of fun. But I love him and I and I hate him at the same time. But uh, he's more of a joke character to me. He's like the Blanca of Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Man, you, you know, you know what character that I don't like, but it's because I probably don't know his backstory because I always thought of him as like the ultimate jobber, kind of like a foot clan, like a foot soldier type of guy is uh, Baraka. Like, I, I don't know anything about Baraka, but every time I see Baraka, because I just see like from the... Uh, the USA animated series of Mortal Kombat, right? And, and you just see like the people that look like Barack, they just get smoked every single time. Yeah. So I just thought I just thought of him as like, oh, he's like a right there, a random foot soldier. So the fact that they kept bringing him back in every game, like like a lot of the games, it just kind of annoyed me because I'm like, why are they why are they bring him back? So Netherrealm does do this thing where they'll have a cool character and they'll make them less they'll they'll, they'll job out to people like. Kotal Khan, super cool character, the best, gets jobbed the fuck out. And yeah. get, it's the Nakali effect. Yeah. yeah. Look how cool this character is. Oh, wait, we just decided to make the character less cool now and de-emphasize them. And when they when Baraka was just Baraka and they didn't really introduce the notion that he's like one of a billion of like a race. Yeah. And they all look really similar versus goro's race where they are a race but they all have vastly different like facial features and hair and and different things almost all tar cottons look the same there's like tiny little variants and baraka again in all the story modes jobs to everyone he just wants his payday get in get out (laughs) they're they're not pushing him for nothing and they they do this sometimes with nether realm they'll just be like look how cool this character is and like "Eh, and all let's let's focus on somebody else but I think a lot of people still love Baraka just for how like scary his design can be and cool blades and stuff. And even in MKX, Baraka's not in it, but like he got in there versus the uh, the Xenomorph uh, uh, variation. He's just just a weird Baraka. Baraka, yeah, Xenomorph. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how many people, uh, how big of a uh, a fan club this character has because she's a relatively new character. Uh, But I really dislike Cetrion. And I, I feel like she's, I, she's in the wrong game. She looks yeah. like she's in the wrong game. She acts she, like she's she, in the wrong game. She belongs in uh, Injustice. Yeah, and her gameplay is, like, the worst. Like, I, yeah, and apparently she's insanely good. It's been a long time since I've kept up with MK11, but I swear to God, if I ever watch an MK tournament, I always see her chucking rocks at people. And I'm yeah, like, I, and not yeah, doing I, much else. I, I think people just play her because she's she's good right now or in the current like state of the game, but I don't think the game's getting more balanced patches. But I, I remember seeing people going like, the, there's something off with this character. I don't know what it is. I think she's supposed to be an elder god. My memory's fuzzy on this. But for a first playable, like, true elder god, because Shinnok is one too, technically, or used to be, it's like a big hyped up character. And she grows into like, you know, a giant that's bigger than the earth and one of her fatalities or whatever. And I think people are just like disappointed with what they did with such a yeah character. And, I'm and, not sure. And, and in that same way, like of like around the Elder God like area, Shinnok is also pretty lame too. She's lame. Yeah. He's lame. Like he's never yeah. he's never had a chance to ever be like cool. Like he has some. They do something with him in MKX, but MKX is sort of like a retreading of MK4 in many ways. But yeah, oh man, like Shinnok and- sucks. It, and MK4, it's real bad because again, he has to follow up Shao Kahn, and it's just, it's, it's hard. The hard act, man. 
Shang yeah, Tsung and, and Shao Kahn are just too iconic for, for them just to be replaced by just kind of like new boss characters. This has happened a couple of times. I've already mentioned like in Fatal Fury when they when they they go, we've run the course with the villains now. And it's like we we're talking about before, like a couple episodes ago in, in Street Fighter, like or for Street Fighter six, like I hope it's not just going to be more four kings or or whatever bison's not, back yeah bison's <laughs> back baby he's back every year and when they try to follow up with new villains it's like it's so rare where it works where it's like oh yeah these are just just as cool villains as before and it's eh, not yeah. really like yeah. uh, more often than not it, it just it just kind of falls flat because you already you built up these villains to be like the baddest motherfuckers and then when you start fresh it's really hard to get the new characters over with like you know villains or or heroes yeah. um that's that's kind of all i really had for mortal Kombat. Like, yeah there's not like, a ton that i really hate like really yeah. hate an mk like, i think cap yeah like that stuff is like but that's it's a, a, it's, a, it's a gag and it's a one-off gag that's like a secret character that like, he's not on the front of the box or anything yeah I mean, like I, I mentioned, Ferritor, but I don't hate them. There's just no. it, it's I like a the lot combination. Of... I like I like them playing together. Like if they were separate, like you, I mentioned earlier, like like Chang and Choi, then yeah, I probably would not care for them at all. And I really don't yeah. have big issues with the combat kids in MKX either. I don't think they're that bad. Like between no. like Jackie and Jin and Takeda and you know, yeah, like Cassie, they, they're all fine. Yeah, they are. Fine. Yeah, I, I think like one or two is like a little forgettable, but and there's so many of them. At all in one game that it kind of you know it was like a lot to take in so not all of them stood out a lot but then you know I, I, I didn't hate any of them um we do have tekken kind of left I'll, I'll tell you guys right now like if you have any things for virtual fighter i look i look through every list it's like i don't hate any virtual fighter character like there's some that i'm kind of like mad towards like i don't really play them but like I'm taka just, arashi is just like another sumo guy like I don't, but I, I don't, yeah. but I don't hate him. He's like the most forgettable dude ever. I wouldn't delete any of them. Yeah, no. I, I don't think I would delete any of them as well. Too. I mean, Doral is a weird one because, like, kind of the first of their kind, like a boss that mimics or something, or yeah. you know, relatively first. And yeah, it's not the most imaginative to design a Pepsi man without or a Pepsi woman, but without the Pepsi logo. Pepsi woman. Yeah. <laughs> Pepsi um, woman. <laughs> But uh, yeah, I mean, would it be cooler if Doral had been more of a, I don't, I don't know, something else rather than just like the T one thousand? Yeah, maybe, that makes but sense. I wouldn't delete them. So I, uh, but uh, who do we have for Tekken? Just there's Jeez. there's some for sure. There's a good there's, amount, I think. I'm there's a lie. good amount. I'm going. To, I'm going to the start. I'm going to Tekken one's roster to okay. see what I feel about it because Tekken one is like a weird, a, a weird roster. That's like there's some hidden characters and stuff like that, so I'm trying to see who is all in it. Uh okay. Uh I'll I'll throw this out, and I've never loved him, is Jack. I've always thought he's been weird as hell. I mean he he's he, he's 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 like the jobber of Tekken, right? He's yeah. like one, he's, he's, he's like pretty much like a, a Tekken. Yeah. He's like literally every version they make a Jack one, two, three, four, whatever. And then it gets to the point where it's just like, bro, like how many times you have to make Jack to finally make him a complete robot or whatever. Yeah. I I think the character has potential to be something like cooler. Like they 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 arrive at final Jack. Yeah. Or something. Or like Jack complete, Jack well, one point oh. Well in Tekken Tag they got P Jack. Um, I, what, is, what, is Jack. The, what does P Jack stand for? Does that stand for Perfect Jack? Perfect Jack. That's what I'm getting. Oh, perfect Jack would be awesome. I don't know if that's what it stands for, but I I don't hate Jack, but I've never gravitated towards him in any serious capacity. I'm always kind of like, eh, it's mm. like, why I would rather play you know any other character almost, but I, I don't I don't oh, hate him. Oh, I I got one. You got okay. So I I, I definitely have one from Tekken Two. Uh, Tekken 2. Yeah, there's there's definitely one character in Tekken 2. I just this was always stupid to me. Uh and, and it has a polar opposite character that goes alongside with it and it is okay. Devil and Fun. Angel. Angel and Devil. So yeah. devil, devil is just Devil Kazuya and I've always yeah. just hated that side of you know the Mishima bloodline mm -hmm. where you just turn into some weird pink uh weird purple shithead. Uh yeah, I just really dislike it. I I like devil but i don't like the pairing of devil and angel that's mm -hmm. so on the nose yeah, and it angel, it's kinda, it's angel himself yeah. is yeah kind of random 
Angel themselves is kind of lame. I mean, I like Devil Kazuya. Yeah, same. But like, I want him wearing his suit, but he's still Devil. Yeah, you know, I want I want a combo of it. It's not like my favorite part of Tekken, but it's like I I do kind of like it on occasion. It does spice things up a little bit. Yeah. So, well, dudes, let's let's you know, let if we want to just get to the meat and potatoes of 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 the hated Tekken characters, we can just jump to it. Do you want to want to go through three and four first? We could like, we could go like straight to Tekken five, Tekken seven that has like the biggest Alisa, rosters. Alisa, Alisa. Alyssa? Oh, Alyssa, great. Alyssa, yeah, yeah, I agree. Right now, Alyssa. 100% really? Right you, don't, now. You, don't, you don't like Alyssa? I think she's pretty cool. No. No? You don't like Chainsaw Chainsaw Lady? The taking off her head and shit? No. I'd, li- I'd like Chainsaw Lady if they were cool, but it, they're like Athena, but a robot with a chainsaw. Okay, so, so yeah, I, I guess I look at it as like, okay, like Alyssa came out and like she had all these different like uniqueness about her. But then, she did. but then you still have Jack, who's still kind of the same. And so it's like I just thought from the robot upgrades, I'm like, damn, they upgraded the robot levels <laughs> okay. to a lot with with Elisa. But Jack still has the same thing, no laser beams yet for some reason or anything like that. Uh, <laughs> I, so, so that's I guess he doesn't that's have that firmware. He doesn't have that firmware upgrade <laughs> yet. Um, it's just it's just just too silly. Like, there's lots of silly stuff in Tekken that I do like. It's not. It, it it just comes it just rubs off the wrong way to me like i i don't find it entertaining i don't find yeah. it cool i like i like the silly stuff i like kuma i like panda i like gon i like roger i like i like all that stupid shit but it's just this weird combination where Alyssa, i'm just like it just doesn't work for me like I, i'm sorry because she does have her fans too and i watched the cg animated movie bloodline whatever that harada made to um apologize for the live action movie yeah. bloodline rebellion not Bloodline rebellion blood vengeance doesn't matter what it's called you're like oh man this is gonna be a cool ass like, it's almost what you always wanted like the tekken cgi endings but in a movie in a movie a- and you watch it and 90 percent of it is is uh, uh ling and Alyssa just on their bumbling, adventures bumbling around school flopping all over the place not doing anything fun or cool and then the last 10 minutes is the sickest hypest mishima bloodline fight ever it's the greatest 10 minutes you'll ever see but you have to watch 90 percent of like ooh, ooh, i fell over yeah <laughs> my head fell like off they have no that, that and that the craziest thing is that that mishima bloodline fight could have been so sick if the actual story was leading up to it and they yeah. make it like really important or like there there's a there's a proper build-up but instead the rest of the movie meanders around like we don't know how to tell a story so we're just gonna throw us all this shit in and then here's a really cool fight so yeah uh, Alyssa was sh- i got more than my fill of her just throughout that um i i justin's right that she is fun and has unique stuff it's just uh, it just comes off poorly to me unfortunately well how do you guys feel about gigas completely forgettable i don't even know if i hate yeah. him as much as you would have reminded me that he existed like i yeah i just like I'm just like, what? Well, this is a waste of a character slot. That's what I thought because they. It just seems like he's a brand new character, and he's like this giant, hulking man that I don't know what he does, but it just, he just looks so weird to me. I don't even see him in like actual matches. I feel like nobody even plays him for me to even like see how good he actually is um, as a character. But he's just super, like you said, for, forgettable. And I just, I, I would say, I wish there was a a character that could just replace him. How about uh kind of forgettable? How about Lucky Chloe? See, that's like the that's like the Athena of, of Tekken for me. Lucky yeah. Chloe. Yeah, she is. Like, I don't know how much it, is it of my own opinion or how much uh, is it of Kenny rubbing off on me. <laughs> uh, it's it's probably a combination of the two. I, I get that a character like this has a has a place in fighting games, and when people are like complaining to Harada about it. And Harada's like, well, I just make like 50,000 muscle men. Fuck you. Don't ask me for shit. <laughs> like, I get that. I get that as a creator's frustration. Well, we wanted to make a different character. Yeah. And I, all I'm going to say is like, we're well, not the leader, but certainly not a character for me. And like the, like a character that's just like too cute. I just, it's hard to get, but you need at least a little bit like Asuka is 
uh, I like a like a good combination. Sakura from Street Fighter is a good yeah. combination of like tough and cute, and yeah. like Lucky Chloe and Alyssa kind of is like in that area for me. I'm just like I just can't get behind like what what's going on here, you know. Um, I definitely have one that I I genuinely hate uh, throughout all of the Tekken games where this character was eventually introduced, and it's Devil Jin. Yeah. I really? absolutely I, hate him. He's a fucking edgelord. How do you not? Yeah. How? He's the lamest edgelord I have ever. Everyone, it's like it's like as long as the edgelord part of it is handled with like a bit of tact or like awareness, it feels like we're trying to make gin and we're just gonna throw chains and tats on him and give yeah. him some horns. And I <laughs> absolutely hate it. Like I can't even stand it. He's literally Sephiroth of tech, and he has black yeah, wings yeah. and whoa, flies around. Okay. Oh, whoa. <laughs> All right. We have He's some not wildly wrong. different opinions on this one. <laughs> uh, I, I genuinely disagree. Uh, if because you Sephiroth gave him a seven foot long Masamune, you'd be all over him. Yeah, yep, but Sephiroth yep. didn't come from like another character like it already and like turn into something significantly shittier like after like then the okay. only reason devil Jin exists is because Jin in Tekken 4's playstyle was wildly changed and everyone bitched about Tekken mm. 4 Jin. So Harada was like, well, we got to bring the old version of Jin back because everyone's fucking mad. Let's just make a devil Jin. And yeah, they just give Jin his old Tekken 3 moveset back. Here's what I'll here's what I'll give you. I much prefer just evil Jin. Jin that's like I'm yeah, I'm just yeah. bad now. I'll, I'll I'll get that, but design wise, I think he's so edge lord with no tact that it goes from like 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 a like a zero of like yeah this isn't that actually that cool it's too try hard but yep. then just one more chain one more horn then it goes <laughs> back to 10 and i'm like no he's awesome uh, give, a little, give a little chest tattoo too there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's oh, tribals everywhere the, the dude has like black lipstick on and stuff like <laughs> i there's it just goes a couple of levels above where like this character used to be cool I think <laughs> like, I don't know, like this having it be Jin eventually and like just the way he exists now always bugged the shit out of me. I really dislike Devil Jin. I'm I'm surprised, but I do. You have explained sufficiently where you're where you're coming from. I thought okay. I thought he's too edgelord. Or you yeah. like him. So what do you like Jin where like his like, let's say his super he turns into Devil Jin does a super animation. Was that cool? Or would you just don't want Devil Jin to exist? In I, I think the whole like eye laser out of the third eye thing that that all the Mishimas do outside yeah. of Hayachi sucks. I think it's just weird. I'm like, I, I get it. It's just but it's just fucking weird, man. Generally, just simple laser is kind of lame. So unless yes. you do something really creative with it, I, I agree there. I yeah. I think it's cool that they would transform during a super or rage art or whatever. Yep. But it the, the actual move is is kind of flat. it's lame. It's, they just they just have a third eye and they shoot a laser out of it. Like and that's that's what they do. I'm like mm, that's, uh, as a kid, <laughs> that's what they do. As a kid playing Tekken two, I thought that was the hypest thing in the world when you pick Devil and you just did the eyes later and he just did like psh, and like kind of like a Cyclops thing. Yeah. I, I I personally was a huge fan of it, but the whole flying into laser down from the sky type of thing that's I would say that part is lame. Yeah, I guess. Well, you mentioned Cyclops. I, I don't think there is anything but any versus Marvel heroes that, <laughs> oh, that we don't want to fight. Oh, we are getting into the, the, some of the deepest. Okay. Because it was with, with you two, it's going to come back to Marvel in some way, right? Oh, but I, I mean, is there really any? Because so many of the characters are already established in comics and stuff, and you're just like, that character is cool. Like... Omega Red is super fucking cool. So like e even in the comics, even without his video game appearances. So he's already got that going for him. And that goes for almost any comic book character, really. Yeah, I guess I guess from that perspective, but I guess from like when you're playing one character, I just need to, to just erase in general. And I'm sorry because I know a lot of people are fans of this character. But every time she's in a game, she's complete trash is role uh, role for Mega Man. Just just I just hated her in Marvel one and Marvel two. It's just it's just what's the point? Like it's it's even worse than Dan. No, the point is you got to keep roll around. You're not the leader. Because you want to be able to get Alex to do his little headbutts to her in Tatsunoko, and they have to change the animation so he can hit her in the head. That's why you keep rolling around. <laughs> but you're you're right. She is 
kind of lame in any fighting game appearances. Like I get she's so cute and not a fighting game character that she's it's fun, but at the same time, I'm also like, ah, eh, I could do without her as I well. I think I got a I think I got a fair pick from uh the MVC side of like actual hatred. Like, man, people that play this character, man, this character themselves, uh, is Phoenix. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I, I, I was really scared you were going to say Storm. No, <laughs> I thought he was no. going to I thought he was no. going to play with expectations and say oh, Cable. I was hate Cable. No. Yeah, secretly hates Cable. No, no. Cable's, actually, cool. Cable's actually cool. Cable, but yeah, Phoenix is cool. I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. fighting against him, I hate fighting against Storm, but like Phoenix is some next yeah. level. Like, this character isn't just degenerate. Like, you're actually poisoning people by playing that, this character. Yeah, that's what, that's how, yeah, she Real was on life. my list too. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> I, uh, she made people rage so much um that it got to the point where it's just like well people literally were just trying to find anti-phoenix tech right yeah and, and the best craziest part in vanilla you couldn't even find that many anti-phoenix tech it was more when ultimate came out where they allowed more like situations where you can kind of stop dark phoenix x factor happening. through it type stuff yeah. yeah but like in vanilla it was just phoenix city like if you fought a phoenix player good luck to you i pray for your soul hopefully you get out of it alive type of thing and i got i got a real good one uh, I saw you slap your hands. You're you're ready. It was like, yeah, the pure pure hatred kicking right in. Let's just remove this bitch from these games uh, and replace him with somebody else because I don't know how he's been in so many versus games at this point. Frank fucking West. Frank I West, don't know. Man. I don't agree I do, about them. You know, I dislike I, I, Frank West. I like Frank West. Like in well, I TVC, I hated him. I think he was just kind of a waste of a time. But my, I felt like Marvel uh, Ultimate Marvel Three, like they did a good job of making him. As, oh no, as a, no I'm, as a I'm not saying character. he's like. I'm not saying he's a like a, a badly designed character gameplay wise. I think he's actually yeah. kind of interesting. My issue with him is that he essentially took Jill's gameplay oh, style. Oh, I see. Right, yeah. and also the fact that his inclusion in Tatsunoko versus Capcom, which I think we might have discussed in this podcast before, maybe maybe not. Uh, is there because Americans like Frank West mm -hmm. and the story behind him being included in TVC and not a character specifically, which was originally going to be in TVC, which was Leon Kennedy. It was going to be RE4 Leon. Uh, they just they decided to put in Frank West because Americans like Frank West more than Leon. So we're going to do I didn't Frank know West. This. I don't, now I hate Frank West. That, that, yeah, <laughs> Frank, Frank, West. Frank essentially stopped Leon from being in a versus game. Because oh, no. was, was Frank not in the Japanese version of TVC and they added him for Correct. the American he got, version? He got added into like the second yeah. version, the uh, All-Stars. Okay, yeah, All-Stars. All Jeez, that's that's what that was. That That's really a thing? But, but like, RE4 sold like a billion more copies than Dead Rising did up to that point, right? Right, Why? But, but, but what's his name? Mega Man guy, right? But he was around. Inafune. Inafune yeah. has to, because Dead Rising was big and, you know, Dead Rising is yeah, a game. Yeah, it's just pushing it. The craziest part uh, is that he came back again, right? He came back again in MVC3, and uh, UMVC3, and then he came back again in MVCI. <laughs> it's like, oh. So, okay, here, here's what I'll give you. He is in too many games for sure, but he needed to be at least in one of them. I don't know sure. which one. It doesn't matter. I'm down. Yeah, keep keep him in TVC one. Sure. But the <laughs> okay. fact that this dude kept returning, right? And he wasn't even the main character of his fucking games anymore by the time like Marvel mm. Three was out. And I'm just like, what yeah. the fuck is going on here, man? Come on. Did he ever get like a Chuck Green costume and like? Marvel Three? He gets 3, like or? a color reference, I think. Yeah, he gets, uh, gets like a yellow jacket type of thing. So I get. You know, so many uh, Capcom characters, like ones people have been asking for years, has still never gotten into a versus game, like uh, Gene from like God Hand or yeah. Vanessa from like uh, PN09, whatever it was. PN03. PN03. I always yeah. say PN09. I still to this day don't understand why I say this. Um, so I, I, I get that. Like he, he was in so many versus games versus <laughs> a lot of characters not getting in. That, that really sucks about Jill. They're going to add in Jill. Or they just weren't going to add in Jill because classic Jill. They were going to add Leon okay. originally. And then they, they changed Jill around to being weird Jill to being in Marvel 3. Ooh, and they Jill. essentially gave the zombie chucking gra command grab thing to, to Frank. Yeah. And it's like, man, yeah. that was literally Jill's moveset. <laughs> Marvel 2 Jill was so much, so much She's more great. fun than, Mar She's such than a Marvel fun 3 character. Jill. Yeah. You, know which, you know which characters I hate? the most actually in, Mar in, in the Marvel, Marvel stuff versus series 
is a bunch of the secret characters in Marvel's Capcom 1. And what I mean by that, I just hate the fact that they were kind of lazy and just made it like yeah. a pretty much a palace swap of X and, characters. And they break the game. Yeah, like yeah, so you have like War Machine, go War Machine, right? Venom, Red Venom, right? Then you have Chung Li, Shadow Lady, Hulk, Orange Hulk, uh, Morgan, and then aka Lilith, Lilith, but pretty much it still says Morgan on the screen. So I hated that because I really wish they were kind of like had their own identity in terms of like brand new characters would have been cool, but just it just pretty much was a palette. Imagine swap if at they point. could rework Venom Sprite just uh, Venom Sprite a bit more and just get Carnage out of exactly. them somehow. You know? yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, I see that. I see that. And it's also on fa- on the top of the fact that Gold War Machine and Red Venom actually ruined the game. Yep, they they so, break the game. Um, we've talked shit about Abyss before as, as a boss. It's just such a letdown compared to like all the amazing sprites from versus games in the past. But it's like, would you want to actually take out Abyss and replace him with something else? I think he's fine now for being like an actual original. Like they had to make something new and different. I like that the fact that he's three tiers. He's not yeah. just like one, you know, or two. So I think there's some elements there that I'm... I'm kind of okay with there. There is there is a character in the versus series that I do hope goes away. Like we don't need to include this character anymore, and it's Firebrand. Really, I, did, I do not like Firebrand, man. I think it's I, annoying. I'm, I'm kind of sick of Arthur, actually. I'd rather have yeah. Maximo Maximo in there. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I if, if if I had to choose between Firebrand and Arthur, I would probably would rather have Arthur go. Yeah, I guess that's true. I mean, but it's weird that both of like the ghosts and goblins characters are ones like get him out of here, get yeah, toast those characters. <laughs> I also, mean, Spencer. The, the, I, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? I think Spencer. Some... I think Spencer's been in too much now. I think I think you can rework Spencer's move set into like a DMC five Nero. You know, yeah, we don't need Spencer sense. anymore, dude. This is from a failed Capcom game that nobody liked. Like, <laughs> we don't need another Bionic Commando. Like new bionic commando character like it's, it's okay we're good uh yeah I, I, it, I think he was kind of overexposed at that point but again i just assumed it was a holdover from inafune because that was another one of his games another, and stuff. His yeah. it's like why don't you just put a lost planet character in there oh we kind of did it was in tatsunoko <laughs> well no you know very few people played that oh but we did it though um yeah for ver- i the, the, I was about to get into more of like who who would I want to have been added to like a versus game, but now we're we're doing the opposite of that. The opposite of um, that. <laughs> so <laughs> I, as much as I liked Wolverine, I oh. I think you could have probably taken him out of one game and replace him with someone else because yeah, they did that with X twenty three, but they're both in the game. So I'm thinking like I don't know oh. one game they they do a whole other type of Wolverine, let's say. Not well, just you know, not just yellow suited X Men Wolverine. Like do something crazy with the character. You, ha- you had your wish. It's called Marvel's Capcom Infinite. There was no Wolverine in that one. Oh, yeah, it's called right. NBCI. We get to relive all this all over again. And they replaced Wolverine with the whole other Claw character it was either Firebrand or, or Black, Black Panther. Panther. So you had oh your wish, God. Matt. There you go. So I'm you like, looking it. at you guys, and you're making these weird faces. I'm like, what? And then I'm like, yeah, I forgot about that. I, and just, I was, was going to say, I was going to say, you got your wish. You all forgot Wolverine was in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. <laughs> He's so bad. Oh, yeah, there's two of them that's terrible. There's two of them. That, that's yeah, they're both terrible. bad. Max, do you remember that time in the comics where Wolverine got mutated into, like, a more feral version, and his claws had spikes on them? Like, yeah, they were yeah. thorny, and he had no nose? That's, I don't that's, remember that. He he had like a little upturned like like little animal nose, and he okay. was more he was more like caveman Wolverine, like kind of in the late nineties. That's kind of what I'm referring he to. Was, though. Like I was, wanted a dumb Wolverine. He was, uh, morbid Wolverine is what you're saying. Morbid. <laughs> yeah, morbid. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, like for for versus stuff, it, it, there's not a, like like you said a lot of this stuff is like you d- you don't like fighting against them or they've been around too long because the whole appeal of versus is like swap other characters in or get kind of replacements or, or, you know, uh, different, uh, ideas on that type of character, but it's all that much I'd, I'd taken out. Yeah. I like so cool that ghost rider made it in, but when ghost rider was still in infinite, he wasn't infinite. Yeah. Cause his super looks so terrible. I was kind of like, I want a different ghost rider. I want Robbie Ray's ghost rider. You don't want Nicholas cage ghost rider. Oh yeah. Get Nicholas cage's face in there. Just stick yeah, it on that'd there. Be good. Just, right. just plaster this, it on. Like, I'll tell you one character that I just I'm tired of seeing in the Versus series. And 
this character has made, I guess, Capcom too much money. Uh, so I guess you will always see her. Morrigan? Uh, Morrigan. There's too many Morrigans. You know how many cool Dog Starker characters that could be That's added true. in? But Morrigan literally is in like all these different games. Yeah. Even in non even in non Marvel versus games that she's in it, like CVS one, CVS two. Like, I am tired of seeing Morrigan. Can I see other characters besides Morrigan from Dog Stalkers? Yeah, it was it was it was a blessing that we got Jetta and MVCI and he was done as well as he was. And that's like the thing. It's like Shenko's really cool. Like she's not amazing, yeah. but like these characters are awesome. Yeah. But man, you're not gonna see anything else. I would keep Morgan in Tatsunoko just because that was like her first like or yeah, it was her first new model. Right? First time yeah. she's ever been updated, yeah. Yeah, and and the Darkstalker stage is really cool looking in that. But all the all the others I could probably yeah, just you can you can get rid of most of them, if not all of them. Except for like, you know, you have to have the sprite represented in at least one or two, but a little overexposed. Uh, you know, I, I I want QB like back QB, in there. Yeah. Like that'd be sick. Oh, like um, BB Hood is like another great representative. Like these characters <laughs> don't have like the mad sex appeal, like the 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 appealing money QB making factor. Absolutely has mad sex appeal. <laughs> if you're gross, man. Like if you're. Big. I am. I mean, you know, she's she's she's, she's full of that honey. She's sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> We are waiting for the Dark Souls of fighting games. Let us have it. We're ready. <laughs> Soul Edge has nothing on a lightsaber. Like, I'm sorry. James Earl Jones comes back. No. no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. I don't think kids trade games yeah. anymore. I need that sense of accomplishment, and it wasn't there. And I think that that was a major flaw. The way they engineer these is just phenomenal. As much as you're into, like, the comics, I was very into the toys, so I was on, like, the message board all yeah. the time. Yeah.